Hello everyone, um, Harvey here, and I am here because I am going to buy my first ever mythic egg. So yeah, I am. It's pretty cool. Like, I haven't actually gotten a mythic egg by buying any. So like, I've gotten one from Momondo Chick, and I've gotten a mythic bee from Royal Jellies, and I think I got one from a Diamond Egg. So. Yeah, it's cool. I didn't. My friend Freddy, the other guy on this channel, has also gotten the mythic egg, so I can tell you what B he got later. But now I am going to buy that mythic egg. Let's go ahead and buy it. Yep. There we go. And there it is, the mythic egg. Wow, it's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. And now, I wonder what B it is. I hope, I'm hoping, it's either a um a vector B or a fuzzy B. So if you don't know what those are, this is a fuzzy B, and this is a vector B. I don't want a precise or buoyant B. Because I already have those. And I want to be able to make a mythic meteor shower. Which I'll show you guys later. But for now. The reveal. What's it going to be? It is a tadpole bee. I mean, not what I hoped for. But at least it's not a buoyant or precise. And I mean... It's still a mythic egg, so... Yeah, it's... Some people don't even have mythic bees. So I'm just gonna level it up. To about level... 7, maybe? Level 5... Level 6... Um... Uh, And yep, level 7, there we go. Now, let, I will show you what a, um, a mythic meteor shower is now. So, if you use the red cannon, or you don't have to use the red cannon, but in the 10B area, the, up above the 10B area shop, there is a place where you can summon mythic meteor showers. So, if you press it... See how it summons storm. Wherever these white clouds are on the field, it, they'll start summoning meteors. And meteors are like these purple circles that, if you catch, will grant you rewards. What? No, wait, these aren't. Uh, there, see? Like there. See, look at that. Cool, huh? And these can often get you like up to like 20 mil, like more than 20 mil, like 50 mil. And, well, it, it, the better player you are, the better the, your rewards. So, yeah. If you can make these, these can really, really help you get better. And if you want to get like some better rewards that aren't honey, the smaller ones are better for like collecting cooler stuff and they are a better chance of getting like star treats and more mythic eggs but they're like really really rare it's like a for a mythic egg it's like a 0 0.06 or something like that and star treat is like one or two percent it's pretty yeah it's pretty hard and yeah so Pretty cool. So, yeah. I would recommend doing this as much as possible. Just because, like, you can get better stuff from it. And, yeah. Like, I would definitely say try and get 100 gingerbread. Because, like, this is, like, the easiest way at the moment to get a mythic egg. Because all you need to get is a hundred gingerbread, and then if like, 
so you like AFK overnight, you can just like go to Mother Bear's um Mother Bear's Gingerbread House, and since as it's, since it stacks, you can since it stacks, you can you can just you don't have to go there every two hours like the wolf clock. Well, for the wolf clock, you have to go every one hour. Since it is the, it just stacks up. You can just play with as long as you want, and then you can just check there whenever you like. And yeah, you get a lot of gingerbread, and it also costs five hundred snowflakes. But that's like, that's really easy. Like, if you can like do snowstorms and snow bears and stuff. I mean, I can't, but yeah, a lot of people can. Yo, someone summoned a snowstorm in the middle of a meteor shower. How could they? Oh no, the meteor shower is over. Okay then. Well, since this is over, um, I hope you enjoyed the video and. Hopefully I will see you soon, but for now, goodbye.